All right, welcome to lesson three here on using Google Hangouts and using Google Hangouts on air. I'm Dave Jackson from the School of Podcasting dot com, and the idea here is some people might want to use this and then turn it into an audio podcast. So here in this last part three of this series, I'm going to show you now that the Hangout is over, how do you take that video file? and extract the audio and I'm actually showing you how to do this using audacity it's a free audio program uh, there are many other ways to do this via quick time things like that but I chose audacity because I know a lot of podcasters use it because it's a free program so here I am showing you how to go into YouTube now that the hangout is over take your video and extract the audio if you need more help come over and visit me at school of and uh, I'm gonna. I've logged into my YouTube account, and I'm gonna go to my video manager here. There are different options here, so you can see here. If I click this drop-down list, um, download the MP3, MP4. This is downloading the video, the whole thing. So when I click on that, it says where do you want to save it? I'm gonna save it on my junky old desktop. All right, and it is downloading the file. You can see here that an hour long. MP4 video is 157 megs. And if I wanted to, I could go ahead and open that, which in this case will probably open up an iTunes. No video. I got it. I'm on a PC. How are you? And there's the whole thing. So that's exciting. All right, my first attempt here to import this into Audacity. Didn't think this would work because it's video, Audacity is audio. It's saying I need to use the FF MPEG import. Go to Preferences, Libraries to download that. So I say OK. So it's saying, hey, you can't do that. So I'm going to go to my Preferences. I'm going to go to Libraries. And I'm going to download it. And... Okay, for the video, you want to get this uh, down here, the FFmpeg. Up here is the lame. So if I right-click on this, I can save this link. I'm just going to throw it in a junk folder I have. Uh, because That's all right. It's already being scanned for viruses, so that's good. Now I'm going to open that file. I'm going to run it. And when it installs it here, I accept it. Notice it's going here to see. This is on my computer. Program files 86, FMMPEG for Audacity. So it's making a new folder. When I click on Install, that's fine. Now when I go to Audacity, if I go to Edit, Preferences, and Locate This, I have to go back. It has automatically detected. Do you want to locate them manually? Uh, no, not if you found them automatically. I think we're good to go. So I can click on OK. Now if I go to File, Import, even though it's video, I'm going to say Audio. And there you go. It's now importing that video. There we go. How are you? Excellent. From here, I can uh, export it as a WAV file, do whatever I want. At this point, it's like any other Audacity tutorial. So how we did that again, let's go back real quick. From YouTube, you would log in to your account, go to Video Manager, find the video that has been automatically put here by YouTube, say I want to download the MP4, and then you would just download it. Then go into Audacity and go to Edit Preferences, and under libraries, tell it that you want to download the F, whatever this FFmpeg library is. And that'll take you here. Click on this page. Scroll down. This is not it. This is for the audio. You want this one for the video. And obviously, if you're on a Mac, you'll need these down here. From there, Audacity should find it automatically. And you just go to file and import the video that you downloaded. And from there, it's like any other audio podcast. Yeah. <laughs>